Ladies and gentlemen, Side Strafe here with some more World of Tanks, and today we're starting things out with the M4A3 Easy 8 Sherman tank. Now, I don't think I've focused on this a whole lot within my commentary, but let's see what we can do. Coventer wanting to flank around. M6, these guys will blast him, hopefully. Okay. Uh, let's see if we've got anything on this flank here. We just lost RM6. Now, Shermans are Shermans for the most part. Uh, their biggest drawback is just their silhouette, the shape of the tank. It's very tall, large target. They share a lot of the same weak spots. But uh, this one is nice and fast. Got a good rate of fire. Very mobile. I think I hit his engine. Because he's just stopping. Yeah, I, I totaled his engine. <laughs> nice. Oh, uh, that's good. All right, so note to self. Take out engine. Aim for the front there. It goes right through. All right, so there's about... Uh, let's see, what do we got back there? What's going on? There's a VK on the lower level. Uh, either way I go, I will be fighting solo. Most of our forces are on the hill. I'm going to go uh, try to flank this VK. There's also an M4 up top there. I don't know if I have eyes. Nope. Okay. So let's see if we can get around this guy. He's got... See, there's an M6 right there. And there's a VK shooting at me, so now we are about to get pinched, unfortunately. But this is the only one that's actually aware of my position, so... Alright, Gunner, time to get back up, and... How unfortunate! Two VKs. This is the end of that one. Ladies and gents, oh well. I got nothing. Double nothing. Alright, well that's that. Doesn't help to get uh, pinned between multiple tanks. Unfortunately there, uh, we lost the entire left flank. And uh, yeah, so it looks like we're going to lose the whole game. Not a whole lot I could have done in that situation. Let's go back to the garage. Now, I could perhaps show more of that tank, but I think I'm just going to move on to something else. And uh, I do have this Sherman here as well that I don't really focus on a whole heck of a lot either. I know I've gotten a lot of requests to do so, but again, I don't necessarily take requests because I just obviously can't get myself into each and every tank. Uh, most people like to run with this derp gun here, the 105 and then uh, premium rounds. Not really a fan of doing that. Uh, you know, it's a pretty troll thing to do, but that's not really the issue. More so, I don't like uh, close quarter brawling, and that gun is only really good at close quarters. So it's, you know, well, sometimes you can handle certain medium ranges, but, you know, it's just I don't enjoy it. So I, I prefer a ranged gun. Uh, that's just the way I play. Um, Sherman's back. I suppose I could jump into that one more time, perhaps, maybe, but let me see. All right, you know, we'll just do one more with this tank, and then we'll switch it up, just because I don't show this thing off all that much. It's uh, a tank I used in beta. I've always considered it a keeper tank. It's a lot of fun, very fast. I didn't really get to use my maneuverability in that last match. Again, I just got pinched. Uh, you know, we got a couple of decent hits there. Managed to take one tank out, but uh, at what cost, of course. So, Problem is, is you can play safe all you want, but at the end of the day, if everybody else is just, you know, reckless, then there's not much you can do about it. All right, so here, I think I'm going to go towards the west. You can use this thing to snipe. Um, I'm going to say 
it's all right at longer ranges, but it's it's gonna excel at medium range. Uh, really, really fast firing gun, and that usually means that you're gonna hit yeah, almost every time at, at at a good range when you're when you're midfield. Uh, but you need a lot of backup. You need to just support other tanks, heavies, and things like that because it's just so easy to get tore up. I mean, again, when you're in a Sherman, people will switch targets to kill you because they know, well, I can kill a Sherman, no problem, so. Strange, they have their arty midfield. Not sure what's up with that. Uh, I don't think anybody's cr crossed uh, this point yet. Somebody, all right, that T-50 is engaging. We've got support in a typical TD position. Wonder if he'll crest the hill. The thing is, is I don't want to expose myself. And I missed that. And I missed that. I think I only had his turret. All right, what I'm going to try to do here is perhaps see if we can light something up and then hope that those guys back there will be able to do most of the damage. Again, a lot of their forces are over here, so we don't want to do this solo. And I think I'm just going to be here so that when they start trying to cap the flag, I can light them up. Take out a Hetzer in the forest. Looks like we have some friendly fire uh, via our Hellcat. I guess that was the uh, T-50, perhaps, that we had up in front of us. There is no more artillery to worry about, so that's a thing. Okay, so we've got a Churchill 3. And now I feel a little bit more confident about pushing up. What do we got here? Panzer 3. Missing. They're hit. That's hurt. All about that rate of fire. We've got them. And... He was just cruising. I guess he's maybe scouting. I don't know. I might be worried if I had artillery to face, but I don't. So, Churchill. We it Remember, on him, the turret is actually weaker than the hull. He is now invisible, but if he's staying there, which he is, I just killed him. When you have this much ammunition and a gun that fires this fast, just let him have it. Especially when you're dealing with a slow target like that. I know that it would take him a while to reverse and perhaps turn around. Uh, let's see. Maybe he hit me once before he died. Hello. Alright, let's see. This might be a little tougher. Let's see, that's facing front. I think I managed to track him, I'm not sure. Uh, we still have a Hellcat back there that can make short work of these guys. Maybe we can hit that. Was that rear of the turret? I can't tell what I'm looking at, to be honest. Um, yeah, having some trouble against him. But we'll get some backup here. Hellcat? Any day now. I don't think you can see him yet. He's lit. As long as we keep him lit, somebody's going to get him. See, now he has no choice but to move forward. We just yeah, really tough from the front. I don't have any premiums on this. And now all we have is a Hellcat and a Yog Panzer.
I could uh, have used my speed to just blitz past him. In my mind, it uh, wasn't necessary. I knew that I had guys that were about to flank him. So there was that. I'm not going to really worry about capturing because there's only two tanks. So there's that. I mean, you know, on top of that, it's also just one of those things where it doesn't always cross my mind. You know, there's, there's of course, so many things you can do in a game. Sometimes you just don't think about it. And, and that's uh, something that I'd like to discuss just as a content creator on YouTube. Often I get critiqued or um, perhaps <laughs> abused in the comments due to uh, my lack of aggression or reckless behavior within any game or perhaps I just messed up and didn't think of something. Uh, you know, it happens. It's a video game. You know, I want to say a large percentage of my brain power is going towards talking to you guys, delivering commentary, being entertaining, trying to be funny once in a while, or just being serious and uh, provide, you know, a guide in this game, for example. And uh, things don't always go well. You're worried about talking, and, you know, if, if I wasn't talking, maybe I would have paid more attention to the minimap or the fact that I could go around and flank and do something else. This is the nature of YouTube. If you don't believe me, try to do your own live commentary, not post, but live, and uh, see how well you do, because it's not easy. And that's just something I thought that I would uh, clear up, because, you know, uh, that's the number one thing. You got all these, you know, armchair quarterbacks or armchair warriors that, you know, think that they know pretty much everything because they're they're watching. Of course, it's easy to pay attention to every little detail when you're spectating. You don't have to do anything else. So, that's that. I think next, though, I'm going to jump in the Tiger because I still don't show a whole lot of that. Okay. Good old Himmelsdorf once again. Uh, fairly decent in the tiering here. We could Perhaps survive with some side scraping if we need to. Once again, that's pretty much when you cover the front of your hull with a building or some other type of uh, cover and just slant your side armor so that the shot bounces off the side at an, at an angle that just can't be penned. And it just uh, usually is foolproof if you get the right angle against the right type of uh, weapon. Even the higher tier guns, it's it's pretty uh, pretty darn flawless. Time to roll out. Or foolproof, I should say. All right, so where are we splitting? Standard battle. I think I'm gonna cover this side. Don't know why somebody decided to shoot. I still haven't decided to take a look at the test server. I know some of you look forward to me checking out new tanks, but honestly, i uh, just not interested in a lot, uh, you know, on, on what they have to offer there, so. <laughs> look at this, okay. Is he gonna keep moving? Seriously? Don't be this guy. If anything, please, ladies and gentlemen, don't be this guy because he is a bag of scum. If you go into a swamp and there's a bag, inside of it will be some scum. Namely, that guy. He's moving now, but he wasn't earlier and he was right in front of me. And I don't see how it was possible for him to not know that I'm right there. Don't ever go in front of people shot like that. Most people will get angry at you and shoot you. <laughs> I won't do that, of course, because I don't want any uh, friendly fire team damage. It's just going to hurt the team in the long run. But, again, don't be stupid. Okay, so we have a tank destroyer who thinks he's Superman and decided to go off on his own. Uh, that 12-ton is going to get shot. 
right in the back. Almost missed him, though. Okay, so at this point, I think he's... Well, never mind. Oh! Snap, crackle, pop. Hello, Hummel. Time to back off. Interesting that I'm lit, though. I know I killed that, or I shot at that AMX, but... Alright, incoming. That Hellcat. I think we've lost them, though. Good reload time on this Tiger. Uh, we're going to get overwhelmed, I can tell you right now. So, I'm just going to hang out with this guy that uh, had blocked me earlier. Hopefully, he's at least incoming. Wow, I totally missed that. Well, managed to absorb some of that. I actually would rather just get out of here. So, KV-2, you've got a lot of armor. I will back you up. Uh... Oh, shoot! The fire is out. Twisted fire starter. All right. Uh, oh, crap. Oh, crap. We've got guys behind us as well. And um, that Hellcat is a problem. Kind of stuck here. I'd like to go around these guys. This guy's going to want to take another shot at me. But we'll at least take him with us. This IS, however, kind of a problem. Managed to track him a little bit there. Dent on the side. Got some weird angles for these guys. And I'm getting flanked. I see them on the minimap. There's nothing I can do. So when, when this is happening, just stay on your one target, you know? Get some damage. That's not damage. That's a track, but... All right. That's all she wrote. Nothing I could do there. We just got... I mean, as you can see by the mini-map, which I was paying attention to, there is a point where paying attention to the mini-map is only going to get you so far. There's not anything you can do when uh, most of your team is toast and you're just getting flanked by two or three tanks and they've got guys all over the place. Uh, in hindsight, the only thing I could have done differently is maybe stay at this corner, kind of where that KV-2 is, and just hold the line, but that would be, you know, some extreme kind of base camping. Uh, and they did actually come through the base side anyway, so no matter what, I'd get flanked. This was a loss. There's very little that I could do. I'm... I wasn't paying too much attention to the team. I've had worse losses, so whatever. Just uh, another one of those games. We did get some good damage in, though. And I like how this artillery is just trying to dip out, I guess. I don't know. Maybe he can take this SU-5 with him. Look at that that last minute, like, oh, crap. Turn around. Oh, and they both miss! Unacceptable. <laughs> oh, that, he had the drop on him. I know those things are very inaccurate when you're doing that, but he, I, I bet he got excited and kind of panicked. He probably just didn't wait for the aim uh, time there. So, how did we do on that one? Let's see. Always sort by experience. Second place. Whatever. Uh, nothing to write home about, as usual. Uh, but we did what we could in that type of situation. Okay. But I think that's about three rounds for me, so I think we'll call it quits here. Uh, as usual, thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you on the next one.